Blue chip is a term reserved for the best of the best. Whether the topic is real estate, stocks, or in this case, collector car automobiles, everyone desires a blue chip. If you'd like to see firsthand qualities of a blue chip collector car, then you won't want to miss this episode of the Speed Journal. We're at Bonham's Quail Lodge Auction in beautiful Carmel, California. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Michael Caimano. Michael, how are you? Great, how are you? All right, great, nice yeah, to see you. Yeah, thanks for coming by. You're with Bonham's Auction, yes, and you're going to present a beautiful McLaren F1 to us. I am, I am uh, graced with the, uh, the opportunity to do so. Yes. Uh, it's a 1995 McLaren F1. Uh, it's being presented by the original owner. Uh, he flew over to the UK and took factory delivery of the car, mm. uh, at which point he went on a tour of Europe, uh, which is, accounts for almost half of the mileage that's on the car today. Interesting. Yeah, uh, he describes it as the uh, trip of a lifetime, as you can imagine. Today, the car has just over 9,000 miles on it. Uh, again, half of those were, were within the first uh, few weeks there. And since then, it's been uh, kept on the East Coast and religiously maintained uh, at McLaren. We have all of the service history for the car. Now, you had an opportunity to actually drive this car at Lime Rock? We did. So part of the promotion of the car, we took it down to Lime Rock and created a video um, just because something so special and, and unique such as this car, uh, most people don't get to see it in action. You just see static photos of it uh, most of the time in a studio somewhere. Right. So we thought it would be a great opportunity to uh, you know, let the car do what it's supposed to and, and bring it out to the track and get some good audio and, and visual um, you know, experience with it. So uh, when the car came out, it was the fastest naturally aspirated car to ever uh, you know, be produced. It would do 240 miles an hour. And what's interesting is even today, all these years later, it still holds the record as the fastest naturally aspirated car. Um, nothing has, has surpassed it. And uh, you know, from, from the makes of uh, new cars today with all the turbocharging technology, doesn't seem like any car will go in that direction again. So probably a title that, that this will hold on to. Everything is about weight, aerodynamics, and, and power. Um, it is the it holds true to the ultimate driving machine. Are there any rumors as far as value or what a car like this might sell for? So, um, you know, it, it's very difficult to put a value on a car um, such as this. Uh, a, a McLaren F1 with this pedigree and history has never publicly been offered before. Uh, so it's difficult to say, but we certainly hope and expect it to exceed the, uh, the previous record of, of, of 13,750 for sure. I'm sure you'll be on pins and needles when that's on the block. It will be very exciting. Um, you know, it's not often that uh, we get to offer or that the market has the opportunity to purchase a car mm -hmm. with this kind of history and provenance and collectability. Um, it's, it's what a lot of people consider a, a blue chip car. Uh, it kind of checks off all the right boxes. Michael, share with us yes. what you know about the Enzo. Sure, so the Enzo is a, a spectacular car. It's part of the supercar lineage from Ferrari, uh, beginning with the 288 GTO, followed by the F40, the F50, then we come to the Enzo, uh, followed by the LaFerrari. Right. Uh, the Enzo, they only made 499 examples, uh, production cars, and they did produce a 500th that was presented to the Pope, um, so quite, quite a special car as well. Um, but th this car is very unique in that it is one of the few that was made in black. There's believe uh, 12 black examples worldwide. Uh, only it's either four or six of them are believed to be U.S. cars in, in the United States. And if you look at the car, it's got the stunning combination of the black exterior with the Koyo interior. There's only yeah, there's only two in the world that way. Uh, this this being one of them. Uh, and if you notice the, the condition of the car, it is uh, one of the most pristine Enzos you'll, you'll ever see. So there might be examples that have lower mileage, but none that have been maintained to this level and this standard. Uh, it's always serviced at Ferrari uh, for all of its major and, and minor um, you know, things that are, that are done to it. It's always brought to Ferrari. And the owner uh, went so far as to, when he first purchased it, he wrapped, I'd say, 90% of the car in clear bra to protect that factory original paint under there. And uh, this is another car that can easily be considered a blue chip collectible just because you know, it's limited production uh, and it's a Ferrari supercar.
I expect there will be more than a few new delighted owners as these collectibles change hands this weekend. We like to thank Bonhams and their team of specialists for showcasing these fascinating cars. And we'd like to thank you for joining the Speed Journal.